but it is very vibrant. If you see the pictures before or after, um, there, there's all these pictures at the end of the video, so if you guys see that, you guys can definitely see how vibrant this is. Um, and I will see you all in my next video. So, um, what we're going to do first is I'm going to take this brush right here. This is the MAC 232. And I'm going to go in with the Sephora palette, and I'm going to go in with this light color right here. I'm just going to put this on the bottom portion of my crease. And I'm going to bring it a little bit just right above the eye crease. I'm going to put this. Now I'm going to go in with the MAC Vanilla, which is that right there. And I'm going to go ahead and use this as a highlight. This is just another light, really, really light matte eye color. Notice how I'm not going into this area because I'm going to use this as my natural eye color for it to become my crease color. It's a lot brighter in person. It's kind of weird. Now I'm going to go in with NYC's liquid eyeliner and this is just in black. And more than your traditional eyeliner, I did mine pretty thick so that's what I'm going for, nothing too thin. out a little Now while I'm letting that dry, I'm going to go in with Urban Decay's 24-7 um, Glide On Pencil and this one is in flip side. I'm going to put this on my bottom waterline. Now I'm just going to take my shadow brush from Japon Sake, so it looks like this, very small shadow brush, and with any purple that you have, just go ahead and grab that purple and put that on top of that blue liner. Just pat it on. This is going to change the color of the liner, as well as it's going to keep it on lasting for a longer time rather than just having the eyeliner there because it's setting it. Just be careful, try not to get powder into your eye. Okay. So once you do that, go ahead and go in with the same brush and a lighter purple, like a magenta color, like so, and apply this under your eye. I'm using Urban Decay's Limited Edition Palette, um, the Alice in Wonderland. And I am using the dark purple Underland and the light purple Curiouser. You can also use the 120 palette as dupes for this. 
with any dark and light purple, like a lilac color. And just go ahead and follow this on your lash line. Now I'm going to go in with NYX's glitter palette. And I'm going in with this purple right here. And I'm just grabbing a um, slanted brush to pick up some of that purple and follow along that light purple we just applied. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with Icing by Claire's um, stackable glitter and I'm using this purple right here. With the same brush, you don't have to switch it. Just go ahead and dip your brush into it. Grab a little bit of product and then go along carefully along the lash line where you applied that. Searching for them just stay the same So 